welcome back students uh, in this uh, new lecture uh, from uh, unit number 2 uh, this is uh, vinash panchal uh, delivering the lecture on this uh, one day analysis of uh, bar so now we uh, see next uh, problem uh, which is given in uh, on the screen so here we have this problem uh, determine the support reaction forces at the two ends of the bar shown above give the following that is uh, given uh, p that is uh, uh, load point load which is acting at the uh, center of this bar is uh, 6 into 10 to the power 4 newton e is given that is Young's modulus or modulus of elasticity is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 4 newton per mm square area is given that is uh, throughout same cross section area is uh, present and it is equal to two, 250 mm square length of the bar is 150 mm and uh, the allowable <coughs> deflection is 1.2 mm so in this problem we have uh, the bar uh, is having area 250 mm square and it is fixed at one end and restricted at other end by 1.2 mm so what uh, this problem is uh, showing over here that there may be deflection because of the point load p there may be some sort of dis deflection and uh, we have to just determine if the deflection is more than the allowable displacement it is 1.2 mm then there may be some type of uh, compressive stresses will act on the bar and because of that forces there may be some stresses inside the uh, bar because of this restrictions uh, also we have uh, the value of 1.2 mm if it is if it is less than uh, the <clears throat> actual free expansion of uh, this bar without restrictions then what we will do then we have to consider this uh, as a <coughs> delta 3 or u3 or what we can say the displacement at node number 3 ok so if it is uh, that is a uh, allowable uh, displacement is uh, less than this 1.2 mm then then uh, we will see that there may not be having any effect of these restrictions so we will uh, see the further uh, solution of this problem so first we will check uh, uh, there is uh, the contact of the bar with the wall on the right that will occur and uh, we will uh, simply find the effect uh, of this uh, load p on this bar and we can find the deflection at node number 3 so entire deflection in the bar that may be calculated with the help of the simple relation that is pl upon ea and uh, by putting all the necessary values we got the value as 1.8 mm and it is greater than the allowable displacement that is 1.2 mm so now we will uh, find the element stiffness matrix first that is k1 okay and uh, is equal to we know that a e upon l into 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so if we put these values and uh, these are uh, corresponding elements for this uh, node 1 and 2 if it is uh, uh, for element number 1 then what will happen 
it is correspond to node number 1 and node number 2 so these values are also corresponding to node number 1 and 2 node number 1 and 2 okay so if we consider uh, k2 it may become a e upon l into 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 and which will be corresponds to node number 2 and node number 3 so it will become node number 2 and 3 also it will become node number 2 and 3 so what we have to do for combine or global stiffness matrix uh, then there are three nodes for this problem so the group uh, <coughs> order of global stiffness matrix uh, that will be 3 by 3 and uh, we can find uh, this e upon l e upon l as a common because there is a similar area similar length and similar ings modulus is uh, applied over here so only the change will be the matrix so here this matrix is having the value of k1 and this one is k2 so here this 2 uh, that is central element that is a, a second diagonal element which is applied uh, given as 2 because this uh, value of k1 the last element of k1 and the first element of k2 both will get merge because this are corresponding to the node number 2 so that it is added and other uh, values will be Mm, kept as a same okay so now we will uh, have <coughs> the next uh, <coughs> slide so here we can see uh, the <coughs> boundary conditions that is force is applied at uh, node number 2 so that is f2 so here we have uh, uh <coughs> u2 that is displacement at node number 2 is always zero because uh, wherever there is uh, an uh, deflection or what we can say wherever there is we are considering the deflection at uh, a <coughs> fixed point it is always be zero because uh, at fixed point there are not uh, possible Uh, for the any dis de deflection so we will uh, consider it as zero so we have a uh, elimination approach so because of uh, this zero this uh, row number 1 and column number 1 that will get zero and what is remaining over here is this 2 by 2 matrix so with the help of this matrix we can find the equations uh, that is uh, <coughs> e upon l into 2 u2 minus 1 into delta delta is given as a 1.2 mm because it is allowable uh, beyond that there will not be possible uh, for a deflection uh, then th so that we will take it as a 1.2 and is equal to p p that is what 6 into 10 to the power 4 this is equation 1 equation number 2 that is e a upon l into minus u plus 1.2 and is equal to f3 okay so then we will uh, find f3 is equal to 0 because no force is acted over there only reaction forces will be uh, considered for that so f3 is equal to 0 we will consider at a zero so that uh, by finding or by 
solving this simultaneous equation we can uh, get the values of u2 okay so we will get the value of u2 and uh, we have this value that is 1.5 mm so here we can uh, have this uh, value of u1 u2 and u3 so what is remaining over here we will uh, go to next slide so here we have to find just uh, <coughs> this uh, support reactions and uh, we will apply the first and third equation for global uh, equ <coughs> fe equation so first one we will give uh, for the force uh, so we can have this uh, first support reaction that is f1 or what we can say we can uh, take it as a r1 and this is r2 so we have this formula for this so here we can have the value of this third element is zero because uh, we are considering the reaction at support or uh, at node number one at uh, support or node number one so for that we will uh, consider that as other elements as zero because only node number one and two are active with this so by calculation we will get this value of minus point uh, five point zero into 10 to the power uh, 4 newton and uh, f3 similarly we will uh, get that is r2 uh, reaction at node number 3 and uh, it will become 10 uh, sorry 1.0 uh, into 10 to the power 4 so we, we can easily find these values with the help of given procedure and uh, it will be uh, beneficial for finding any type of problem so thank you, thank you very much.